yeah, we're getting our stuff together here and, and getting things together on the, the bike and everything. If you want to see Brenton's bike and what he's got going on, get on over to, uh, you know, his channel and check it out. Uh, we got, we both have good footage and stuff, but just two, two different pinions and two different sides. So anyway, yeah, without a doubt. All right, guys. So, because I have to one-up Wayne, right? I decided dry tartugas are bust. Now, I don't know how we're going to get that 75 miles over there on the scooters, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> There's always a sailboat going. <laughs> Guys, be very, very quiet. We're hunting herons. Uh, just kidding, just kidding. Chill out. So anyway, this is, uh, we stayed here the last night from some people that Brenton knows that are called the Pirate and the Princess. I'm not, oh, there they go. And I'm not going to tell you where we're at or anything because uh, I don't want to give away that kind of stuff. But this is this is a houseboat and, or a shanty boat. Hey, say hey, Brenton. Hi, guys. This is a shanty boat, and this is really, really cool. I mean, this guy really did a beautiful job on this. Guy's a little flat screen, got this little thing he got in yard sale. I mean, he's just a, you know, treasure hunter when it comes to all that stuff. I love this. I've always loved gas lamp lanterns. Yeah, the captain. Yeah, I wish I find that. Let's see if we can figure out at least how to turn this on. Oh, look at that. Remote, remote. He's always really suspicious. Yeah, he's suspicious. He's, he ought to be suspicious. But nice little captain's, uh, you know, the helm and everything. It's a little, little bathroom in here. Um, fridge, everything works. I mean, this is just, this is this is the bomb. This is really the bomb. But I do know what he what he cost when he built this. And you're going to be a little shocked. It's 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 not cheap, you know. But uh, this has six pontoons under it. And so it's got all the flotation that you can even imagine. And uh, <coughs> good size, uh four-stroke engine i think he said 75 on this but he's really done a beautiful job on it and they live in a motor home and everything but they brought this how how this thing came about and i'm 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 inspired i'm impressed is because they watched my shanty boat trip and they started building this and decided to do the trip because i basically uh inspired them to do it so i I never take credit for any of that stuff because I don't really care about that, but I'm, I'm so happy that my channel inspires people to do an adventure. And they, if they can do it on a million dollars, I don't care. At least they got to do the adventure and it will change their life. It's just, uh, it just is a true uh, statement. It will change your life. So, so this is really cool. And uh, this would be an amazing place to stay, you know, to live on and do your thing. We stayed on here last night. It really was a, Oh, it was just beautiful. I mean, we, we were able to even make coffee this morning. So everything is just, uh, it, it, it just did a beautiful job. Now, he talked about some of the bad. You can go on there and check out their, their channel, The Pirate and the Princess. And they had some waves, and they had they had water coming through the ceiling on, you know. I mean, it's everybody has their tough times. It's not uh, all peaches and cream. But anyway, we've got to get on with our major adventure, uh, scooter tramping to the Keys, Key West. All right, so guys, you know, you um, we, we're coming through Fort Myers. You had to stop and take a look at this devastation of these boats and this, you know, um, you can see the stuff here. It's just all these big, beautiful boats have just been just annihilated in this hurricane situation. Um, wow, it's just uh, truly, truly devastating. It'd be really amazing to get in here to just wander around but you know it's all this stuff that's just going to be thrown in dumpsters and and whatnot you know this boat's just you know broke the prop right off you can see it broke one of the fins right off the prop big beautiful boat here smoked up in here that one's laying that there's a couple sunk out there you know they've uh, moved stuff in here it looks like this building took a little bit of a be beating easy we're going to kind of run down to the beach and then work our way down that way here's some here's some great footage here um look at this stuff i mean you know look at the look at the devastation of all these boats gosh dang it i mean i seen the pictures and uh so i knew that there was some some of this stuff that uh was here so we're going to try and find a little bit more and just kind of you know it's just 
all this stuff needs to be, you know, like this trawler here, you know, it's, uh, I, you know, I'm sure the insurance companies have just washed them, you know, and, uh, you know, it looks like it's been repaired a long time, but, you know, there's boats out there that are sunk, and, uh, just a true, uh, devastation with the hurricane. All right, guys, so yeah, we are stopped at a Walmart. We purposely did this. We're in Osprey, which is south of Sarasota, but I needed some bags for this. It was just really cumbersome. It wasn't working. I paid a little more than I wanted for the bags, but, you know, you kind of do what you have to do. Um, they turned out to be fantastic. Brenton even said he would have took them and bought them, and I'd bought his for real cheap, but it uh, turned out to be great. Sprung for, the, sprung for the money they were. They were used off Marketplace. Yeah, and they're, they just got a lot more room, so everything's a lot better organized. We got the old Key Wester bust here on here. We've had tons of people stop, wish us the best of luck. Actually, they bought us coffee today. And stoplights. And stoplights. Two beautiful girls in a Mercedes. I, we tried to get them to take us home for the night, but for a free stay, but it didn't seem to go over. But they were impressed with what we were doing, so. All right, guys, we are... Uh, we are busting weather. This is the first blue sky we've seen in four days. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. But but we are busting down to uh, Key West. And down here. Anyway, me and Brenton, and Merry Christmas to everybody. But I'll tell you what, it's been a brutal, 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 brutal thing. I mean, I don't mean to, like I said, I'm not a com trying to complain. I just, I don't think anybody has seen anything. Has it been? And what do you think, Brenton? You can handle a lot. It's been brutal, hasn't it? <laughs> It's been just, it's, it has been, yeah, just, just terrible. And in, in all honesty, it, the trip has been so cool and so fun, but it's been pinched so bad by the weather. But we're back in here, kind of a, uh, we hit, we found this about eight or nine o'clock. We stopped at a casino. Um, you guys probably know the casino. You, I've done many videos about the casino. We got in there and got as warm as we possibly could. Um, but there was not at you know there was all we could do there you know you weren't going to stay in the casino there's too much music and blue ha and baja and whatever going on but it is just brutal let me flip the camera around here for you so anyway yeah it's and it, i felt it rain at five o'clock this morning it started sprinkling and i thought oh my gosh come on this is no good you know i've slept in the hammock you know and uh, we've got tents, but we've just been so tired and just kind of just throwing our stuff up on the ground and, and curling up and staying warm and on the in our sleeping bags and calling it good, you know. But we are only a little bit away. I think we're 20 miles away from Largo. We're going to stop and get coffee again like we did on our other routine yesterday. And we're going to try. It's Christmas Day. We're going to try and find a Christmas dinner maybe at a church or something like that because it's 50 bucks to go spend for a Christmas dinner. That's ridiculous. So we'll see what we can come up with there. We do have a buddy of mine I'm going to stop and see and say hi to. and uh, But it's supposed to rain. Another couple of days is going to rain, and then finally it's going to shake. But we've had five days of nothing but this kind of weather, windy and rain and over overcast and cold, just brutally sure cold. Him, What's that? I'm not sure I'm believing him because they said it was going to be like 60s and 70s. Has and that changed? Well, I mean, oh. the past few days. Oh, I know, I know. Like I know. Uh, right, I know it. I keep seeing on the horizon that, you know, it's back to 77 degrees, and I just don't believe it either. I'm about ready to fly to Maui, you know, pack the scooter and fly. I mean, it's just, it's just terrible. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go. We're going to bus camp up here and get, get out of here, go get some coffee and a donut and we'll try to rejuvenate and, and get uh, moving. I felt a spill, few sprinkles already this morning, so we're going to try and beat that. All right, guys, peace out. Talk to you soon. Well, guys, uh, we have uh, made it down to the Key Largo area, and I have a good friend here that I've known for 20 years. So we were able to stop here and kind of have a little bit of a Christmas dinner uh, for Christmas and hang out with them, and we spent the night. It rained all day yesterday and all night, and they've asked us to kind of more or less stay another night. Tomorrow it's going to actually clear off. It's kind of starting to, but it's still going to be a rain again tonight. But Key West will be 70 degrees tomorrow and sunny. We're hoping that's where we're going to go. We got about 80 miles to make it to Key West. Um, so we're just going to chill out here and go do some stuff. We've been editing, getting all your video up here for you guys. 
And it's all I can say is, um, you know, the scooter trip has been an amazing trip, but it has been, it's been an amazing trip, but it's been just uh, really uh, terrible weather. So I, we're at seven days of no, basically no sun. It, sun pops out once in a while, and then it turns, goes to rain again. But um, we, uh, we will get out of here tomorrow, get down to Key West. I'm gonna go down here and start making some money and do some door dashing. Uh, because I have to. I'm completely just about broke. So if you feel the need, throw some Christmas cheer in the old tip jar down there and uh, help out with a little food and a little fuel. But uh, we'll keep plugging along and start generating some income. And we've been I've been applying for a ton of jobs, some shuttle bus driver jobs and stuff. We'll see if anything pops up. So that's where we are, guys. We will see you on the next video. And we will see you on the next video in Key West, which we will have made it. Peace, guys.